Hey everybody, um, this is a channel update on the th uh, 31st, on uh, Easter actually. I have a few, ep few sorry, I have a few hours between uh, eating and cleaning, so, or the other way around. So I thought I would make a quick channel update on my CTM map, um, my LPs, what's going on, and everything like that. So I'm going to just start off by showing you what's going on my map. This is just the first intersection. Um, let me just pop this in here. Actually, I'm going to grab out a few different color wools, and you'll see why in a second um, with my monument. So, the map I'm making right now is called To Greener Pastures. Um, I like that I like that name just because, you know, you're working towards a greener pasture <laughs> in throughout the map. Um, I'm working on a experimental storyline. Uh, I've got some, feed some feedback on it. Basically, the idea is you're trying to save your sister from the evil... I think it's Great Earth Eater or something like that. The, the bad guy name is still coming. So I'll wait, I'll just show you. Um, I Vex is, or Vex is new, uh, or Seth Link's new filter, um, whatever you call it, mortar filter, um, is now used to make aesthetics. You know, get a nice little lane. Um, I had to take up some flowers to make this, so I'll do that while I explain some stuff. I really like these because, you know, you just press... I'll put a link to the... Um, filter in my description, but you just put a green wool here where the spawner is supposed to be and a red wool where it's supposed to go. And I just put this so it doesn't get make that snowball-y look. So, um, right now on my channel, I stopped doing Skyward Ascent just for a little bit here while I, well not a little bit, I'm going to be doing some more series with Dylan. I've found it's a lot more fun to uh, LP with a friend, like Dylan, and um, so I'm going to be doing that a lot. Um, once we're done our next series, which I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing uh, Cold Fusion Gaming's Monstrosity, which looks amazing. I, I can't stress it enough. I played this area in Pantheon. Um, like, for Pantheon, I, I'm really not that great on CTM, CTM map player. I think the hardest map I did was Nightmare Realms or Waking Up, which don't live up to Pantheon. So I just played through a couple areas. I gave myself some armor, whatever, but that doesn't really matter. Um, and yeah, so we're going to be playing that, and it's going to be pretty fun, I think. It's supposed to be medium difficulty. It's going to be different than, uh, Rugged Horizons, because we're going to be a lot more careful. And, uh, it'll be interesting. I should be making this closer to that, but, yeah. Um, yeah, so no more Skyward Ascent for a little while. Um, a few episodes of my Rugged Horizons weren't working. Um, aren't going to be working. Episode 3. Episode... Five, I think, and then maybe one more, but yeah, I mean, you can watch Dylan's channel, and I'll put up updates on that as they come along. Um, so I'm using a farming monument for my map, uh, it's, so it's different, it's unique, I guess. What I don't want to do with this map. Um, I guess I should stop these vines from growing. And so, so far, I have placed the red rose, the grass, the fern, the oak sapling, spruce sapling, birch sapling, jungle sapling. I have finished these, I just haven't put them on there. Uh, carrot, potato, and then the, I posted a screenshot. I'm not sure if I'll be able to or not. Uh, but I'll post a picture right now of the one I just finished on here. I, I'm still in the editing, so I'm not sure if I can do that. But it's basically the melon, which is a transition area. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm getting pretty far into the map. I still have to add certain things, um, you know, like custom spawners. I have them all worked out, I just gotta place them and make sure everything is nice. Oh, and I added stars, huh? Nice, right, right, right. Um, and I also have some custom loot to show you. So, throughout my CTM days, um, I, I usually regular on the Ultimate CTM community. I have made some friends and, you know, such things as these. Uh, so, for one that area, uh, Infamy on the forums gave me an area name, and I made him the Holy Hand Grenade. Uh, Holy Hand Grenade, blow thine enemies to bit to tiny bits, which is a quote from the line in the movie, um, and it's instant damage four. So I mean it's only one, but you like if we go get a zombie. I'm thinking about making this area into a. Mushroom by him, so nothing spawns, but oh, and someone peaceful. Oh, right here. Take health potions. Derp. 
Uh, creeper, please. Yes, thank you. And I'm just giving him health. See, it's a one-hit kill. So if, let's say we had a big group of creepers here, and we're just like, hey, ah! All of them are dead. Okay, well, not all of them, but you need a pretty direct impact. But if you have a big group of creepers, they're all dead. Boom. And, uh, yeah, I like the way this looks. If um, Seth Bling makes it so you can use falling sand enti entities, I might use something like water or something like that, or leaves. I don't know if that'll work or not. Um, just so they, yeah, that'd be cool. Um, yeah, and just do the rest, I guess, of my stuff in my monument. There is a wheat, cocoa beans, um, gra gray mushroom, red mushroom, and dead bush. Dead bush sounds pretty good for an area name, or get good, like, last wool, right? Black wool. Feel it, you know? And, uh, I've made, put a lot of time into this monument. Um, yeah, I've spent probably the most time in this area making these little individual flowers. Um, let's make one right here, I guess. Yeah, uh, I don't want this area looking too barren. I want it to be... And the individual flowers, I really like that idea. Just because it looks unique. You never really see flowers like this, right, in CTM maps. Um, yeah. And, I mean, that's about it, really. I mean, oh, I forgot to do the other ones. Ha! I guess you guys probably were thinking, what are you doing? What are you doing? And this is the starter weapon in my map. Let me just go peaceful. So don't get that zombie noise in the background. Oh, I'm at 36% sound. Sorry about that. Um, I got that flaming carrot. Oh, let's go back and we'll kill something with it. And basically, the thing with this weapon is, is it kills things. But, I mean, you can, like, you can probably two-hit kill something if you just waited a bit. Like, gave it, like, ten ticks of fire damage. It might even one-hit kill, because sharp or fire stick four is pretty strong. But you have to wait. Be, like, just chilling. You know, what's going on? Yep. Okay. And see, it's two-hit kills, but it takes a while. So, I mean, if you wanted to actually take down a creeper, like, so. And I'm using my text, custom texture pack. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, well. I guess not a big deal. Everything can be fixed. And, yeah, I've been using cam use tools to view most spawners, but I've used these guys. And since it's an easy CTM map, I'm just trying to make everything really interesting. And, I mean, although, so it's going to be, like, you know, won't be crazy hard or difficult. But it'll just be really beautiful, hopefully. That's what I'm going to try to work on, making everything really beautiful. Um, and... And there's another couple here. A hidden Easter egg. An Easter egg hidden in CTM maps since 1996. Um, also, that is in reference to another person on the CTM thread. You know who you are. And there is the final unattainable cake. Yeah, there's one of these in these maps. It's going to be a mini dungeon. And it's going to be nearly impossible to get. But I'm, I hear Dylan likes cake, so cake, cake, cake. Um, and so he will probably die a whole bunch of that dungeon. You know, you know. And I've been working on a couple other secret projects uh, for people and things, which will be fun. And you'll see that. I don't even know how soon. That might be a while. I don't know. And yeah, I mean, I, I guess I'll see you guys in the monstrosity. And that will be interesting because it won't be as easy. Oops. Okay. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little update video on my CTM map and you know what let's place a diamond block for all my wonderful viewers uh, no let's do an iron block and a gold block and we'll hide them up at the top of the waterfall through some gravel so let's grab some gravel in. and this is probably going to be able to be attainable by other people too but since I'm only using emerald blocks it's not that big of a deal um, where's gravel deep gravel and I have the old gravel texture on. So, top of the waterfall, above the tree, into the wall, you will find the golden iron block of gold. And yes, nice. And there is a above you, and you can, you wouldn't normally be seeing that, but I guess, I, maybe I should put it a little bit higher, but I'll give you a quick preview of what's to come in another area. And, uh, ooh, look at all those ores. Wonder what that is. Ooh. And yeah, I'll give you a quick, those are some honey pots. 
and there's the beautiful starry sky and let's just let's watch the sunrise and as this loads up and I yes yes this is this area and in each individual balloon there are different mini dungeons of certain things some are very difficult some are relatively easy it's up to you to decide if you want to go into them because you know there's resources but it might take you a bit there's also beacons with jump boost which I don't know why that's not being shown right now but there's beacons with jump boost to help you get up the fences and they're all for your viewing pleasure and there's a little viewing house in the distance so uh, see you guys next time in monstrosity by Cold Fusion Gaming. Thanks for watching.